everyone. Today I want to talk about how to ask your husband if he struggles with porn. Maybe you've never had the conversation, maybe you're scared to, or you just don't know how to broach this topic. How do you bring it up? Well, before I share a few helpful tips with you, I want to just quick fire share a number of statistics that are very relevant to this. Number one, 40 million Americans regularly watch porn. Of those age 18 to 30, 63% of men and 21% of women watch porn at least several times a week. About one third of men and women in relationships feel anxiety about discussing pornography with their partner. 25% of men are actively hiding their porn use from their partner. And the majority of couples have not discussed porn or have set rules or expectations around porn use in their relationship. Now, why do I share these things? Well, I think it's important to realize if you're struggling with this, you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there who don't know how to have this conversation and don't know how to broach the topic with their partner and don't have those rules and expectations set up. So just a few things I wanna share with you, a couple of quick tips of how to ask your husband if he's struggling with porn. Number one, you've gotta just open the conversation with something. It could be one of the statistics I just shared. You could say that you saw this video of someone saying, hey, about two thirds of men who are, you know, under 30 watch porn uh, several times a week. You know, I had no idea that that was that many people struggling with porn use. Just mentioning that you saw this video, not that it was something that you were just thinking about for years or wanting to ask your partner. No, hey, you saw a video today. So just broach the topic initially by saying something like that. Now, second biggest thing to make sure of when you're having this conversation is assure him that you are there for him. Be like, honey, hey, you know, I saw that statistic and I want you to know if this was ever an issue for you, if this was something you were struggling with, I am there for you. I would love to help you with that and I want you to feel like you can share with me what's going on. Because I also heard that 25% of men are hiding their porn use from their partner. So just assuring him, hey, I am there for you. My third tip is to be gentle and avoid any accusations. If you come into this conversation and say, hey, I saw this and oh my gosh, this is a crazy high percentage. So you've probably been watching porn and let me see your search history. That's a terrible way to go about this because you need to be gentle with him and not accusing him that, hey, you've been watching porn. It's just saying, hey, I realized how many people do and I'm there for you and just being gentle when you're having this conversation with him. Also, number four, let him know that you believe that shame isn't the answer. If this is something he's wanting to overcome and find freedom from, you believe, and you saw on some teen vulnerable videos, that shame is actually not helpful to overcoming addiction. It needs to be replaced by understanding and by love. Now, number five, mention, hey, there are team vulnerable resources. So if you know of any friends who are struggling with this and don't know how to bring it up to their wives or something, maybe you could share this team vulnerable video with them and it could open the door for them to find freedom. When you say, hey, if your friends are struggling, that takes a lot of the pressure off him and it also points him towards resources like the videos that we're trying to make to help couples overcome this issue. It points him towards that so he could look up those videos of how to bring this up to my spouse if it is in fact something that he's dealing with. Now, you could bring up this conversation. Maybe he's not going to share with you right then and there if he does or doesn't have an issue with porn, but this is that first step in asking your spouse and opening the door to having a conversation because you show that you're understanding and that you are gonna be there for him if he does have an issue. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, like, comment, subscribe to our page. We wanna help as many couples as we can who are struggling with porn use and overcoming it together. Thank you so much for watching.